Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome uh, to this uh, series of uh, BEO exam and this is electrical A6 power systems and machines and this is a transformer question and uh, this question is basically from a recent exam in uh, December 2022 so let's see the question uh, the question says here the no load current of a transformer is 15 amp at a power factor of 0.2 when connected to a 600 volt 60 hertz supply if the primary winding has 550 turns calculate the magnetizing component and the iron loss so the key to solve this question is to use the right model of the transformer okay so the transformer model is basically that we know is something like this it has two parts part represent the core which is this this is representing the, the core and this is representing the winding now because the uh, data we have is at no load conditions it means that the secondary is an open circuit and the current i here is equal to zero so the current that flows here is the no load current and this is the 15 amp okay with an angle that we will come to it and the voltage that is applied here is the 600 volt okay so that's what we want now we will have here the xm and the rc and here it says find the magnetizing component so i want to find im how much of this current flows in the in the xm and what is the iron loss what is the power loss in the rc so in other words, my objective here is to find X, M, and R, C. That is the question. Okay, so we need to know how to use this information so that we can basically solve that question. So we have the power factor equal to 0.2. Obviously, this is a lagging power factor because this is an inductive load. So from this, you can find theta which is cosine inverse of 0.2, which is equal to 78.46. But what is this power factor? It's the angle between the voltage and the current. Now, since this is an inductive, and we can assume that the voltage has an angle of zero, so your current I will be equal to the 15 amp and the angle of minus 78.46 amp. So the current lags the voltage. The voltage has an angle zero and this is lagging. So this is minus 78.46. So I know the voltage and I know the current and this is basically a parallel branch. When you have a parallel branch, it's better to find the admittance Y Okay, not the impedance, because in the admittance, basically, you will have the two components added to each other. So this is will equal to 1 over RC minus J1 over XM. Okay, if it is in, uh, you find the impedance, then it will be RC times JXM divided by RC plus JXM. So it will be very hard to extract RC and XM from the equation. But if you find the Y, it's much easier. And the Y is equal to the current 15 angle of minus 78.46 divided by the voltage, which is 600 angle of zero. And this will give me 0 0.025 angle of minus 78.46. And this I convert from polar to rectangular equal to 0 0.005 minus J 0.0245. And the unit is Siemens. So this is your 1 over RC. This is your 1 over XM. So basically your RC is equal to 1 over 0 0.005 which is equal to 200 ohm and your xm is equal to 1 over 0 0.0245 and this is equal to 40.82 ohms so we found rc and xm now the problem becomes trivial very straightforward your im the magnetizing component of the current Ohm's law is equal to the voltage, the 600 angle of zero, divided by Xm, which is J, 40.82, 
and this will give me a current equal to 14.7 angle of minus 90 because this j it means that the current this is basically 40.82 angle of plus 90 and your core loss p core is equal to the voltage square divided by rc which is equal to 600 square divided by rc which is basically equal to 200 ohm and this will give me 1800 watt so it's a very condensed very straightforward question if you understand how to uh, how to approach this question